Hi guys, my name is Melody and thanks for stopping by and today I'm doing a his, My History Booktube um, because I read another um, book on history because you know that's what I do because I am a historian. This book I actually read to see if there was any information I could get for my dissertation which I'm writing about hopefully St. Margaret and the Pilgrimages in Fife. Um, so I just want to let you know that uh, if you do like me and do like this channel, please do hit the subscribe button and share to your friends. Um, I'd like to do a more in-depth uh, My History Book too, by taking some of the um, places and the what and the um, what they're talking about and doing a bit more research and like finding out a, more, a bit more history so that I can share that with yourselves in regards to this but this is all about um, where I live Fife in Scotland it is a kingdom so let's get started on this so the book is called the Fife Pilgrim Way a historical and spiritual companion and the synopsis says it's packed with almost 100 images and countless stories. It brings to life the fascinating communities and the characters along the route in whose footsteps modern pilgrims are treading. Setting off with Celtic saints from Coleris and North Queensferry, marching with miners through the West Fife coal fields, continuing on with Covenant and communist and ending among the martyrs relics and ghosts of the haunted city of St Andrews. This gripping narrative pre presents a journey through Scottish history ancient and modern with spiritual reflections on the along the way. Okay so I will do um, tell you as well um, that there is a lot of bit about Christianity. The man who wrote it Ian Bradley I believe does um, is a lecturer of um, theology, Christianity um, in St. Andrews. Um, I think that's right. I will have a look up because I didn't look this up before. Um, let's see. Uh, St. Andrews. Yeah, he is um, a professor in the School of Divinity at uh, St. Andrews. So that's who's read it. So there is a lot of Christian um, and religious references in this. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you about first of all is I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read a bit about the Fife Pilgrim Way and it is um, an actual walking route that you can do. It was opened in July uh, 2019. Um, you can find all this information on walkfife.com if you look up the Fife Pilgrim Way, it should come up for you. This is a good um, thing if you get to travel to Scotland in the future, um, then you can be able to do this hike. Um, he uses it in the book as a period of reflection, not only um, for himself, but for who's come before him in regards to like the Church of Scotland, the Catholics, the Protestants, um, Episcopalians, uh, Presbyterians, all of it. So this is, it, it's a, it's very comprehensive and it does, um, because he is a historian in the Divinity School himself, he does leave a lot of references that you can go and have a look at later and come back to and search that. And that's what I'd like to kind of do and get some more information on some of the stories behind this so that I can relate that to yourself. Um, and unfortunately, maybe that won't let you get the book, but I think the book is really good because it does have a lot of pictures of ancient monuments and things like that. But it's a very dense read as well. Okay, so the Five Pilgrim Way uh, is on here. It says that it is a new long distance walking route that brings together the northern and southern edges of Fife together. It's a 64 mile, which is a 104 kilometer uh, path, and it walks around the ancient kingdom of Fife. So let's see. You can go through medieval five, uh, five modern day heritage. Um, there's a bit from Coleris to Dunfermline, or you can go North Queensferry to Dunfermline. That's another walking route, or you can break it up into several walking routes. Then there's Dunfermline to Loch or Meadows, or uh, as the locals call it, the Medes. Uh, we call it that as well, since I've lived here for so long. 
and then there's Lockhorn Meadows to Kinglassy, Kinglassy to Martinick, and Martinick to uh, Sarah's, and Sarah's to St. Andrew's. So it is a quite of a long trek. But what you'll find is you'll get like some ghost stories as well within this of like places where there was a man who supported one of the movements. I can't remember which one it was, and he was uh, ambushed on this route uh, and murdered um, uh, by the other supporters of the uh, of one of the breaks in the religion because there was a huge schism in Scottish religion um, in the 1800s or was it 1700s I believe I can't remember oh, I'm so sorry I should know my history better um, let me just have a look but uh, there is a was schism schism in Scottish because that was the Covenanters. Uh, yeah, it is 1843. So it was the divisions because uh, they just broke up exponentially into smaller and smaller different churches as well, which is entirely interesting. So you have like the Free Church of Scotland, which existed from 1843 to uh, 1900. And then you had the Church of Scotland, um, and then you had the Free Presbyterian Church, just everything. Um, but if you want to look up that history, that is another bit of history that I don't know if it's widely known across the world. I know everybody knows about the Catholic schism in the Eastern and Western churches, but this is a very interesting. I do find um, religious history very interesting, even though I don't follow a, a specific religious path myself. Um, but I think it is extremely interesting. So I did give this book a uh, five out of five. I probably would say 4.5 because it was like hard going reading. It's one of those things is where I read a book. It's like when I read essay material and um, even though I'm so interested in the topic, sometimes I just fall asleep because that's what I do. I don't know why that is. I think it's, it stems from all I used to do before bed when I was little is go read a book and then fall asleep on a book. But yeah, I would actually recommend this book. It does leave you on the way. Maybe it'll, if you're at home and you can't go anywhere, you can like use this as having a, a sort of virtual walk. But I, like I said, I'd like to get some of the more, the items in it and do a little history for you on that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I like to remind you, um, remind anyone if they are, if you are in Pfeiffer in the surrounding area, um, there is a Black Lives Matter event and it's on Saturday, the 1st of August. Um, I'm hoping I can attend. I don't know if I will be able to, uh, depends on, um, my health, the state of my health, but it's between one and four at Pittencreef Park, which is the Glen. So if anyone wants to attend, uh, remember to do that. Don't. And also I'd like to remind people that this is not a trend. Um, please keep sharing. Please keep uh, using your voice in a positive way and try to um, support uh, our fellow humans and especially at this time because black lives matter and until they are equal will never be no one is equal um i will leave the link below to that along with some other links uh to some local to a local um page um in regards to uh Sheku Bayou who was uh who died in police custody um five years ago and his family are still seeking justice um but I'm going to say this in all my videos because I'd like to remind you people remind you people that's really bad you people um I would like to remind everybody that we need to keep making our voices heard because nothing is going to get solved if everyone goes silent um, thank you very much for watching this video. Again, if you like it, please hit subscribe. If you want to share with your friends, hit the share button. I will be back again with another book review and probably in the same outfit um, next time. Um, I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye.